Karen has the proposal document open here on her desktop because she has been editing it throughout the day. She is using the rich editing capabilities of Microsoft Word to generate a professional looking document for her customer. Using familiar Office applications on her desktop, Karen makes no compromises, but with Office 365 behind her desktop applications, she can do much more. From the Office 2010 file menu, Karen can save a document to a SharePoint team site in Office 365. In fact, this document is already stored on her team site, accessible to the other members of the team from Office on their PCs or from within any browser. Now, instead of saving files on their local hard drives and emailing them back and forth, everyone on the team has access to the latest version of the document. This also makes it easier to share large files without clogging up each other's email inbox. SharePoint Online makes it easy to create new sites as part of an existing team site. By clicking the New Site option in the Site Actions menu, Karen can quickly select a featured site template using a Silverlight Carousel application. She could also make a selection by browsing the full list of templates that are available. And with Office 365, it's easy to share documents, even with people outside the organization. Karen is going to send this link to the external copy editor we've hired to spruce up the proposal document. Office 365 does a great job of connecting Office on your PC to your team site, enabling users to collaborate in new yet familiar ways. We have taken this to the next level with Office Web Apps, providing you with companion versions of our familiar Office applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote in the browser. Here Karen has opened up the Word document in the browser, and you can see it looks virtually identical to an Office document on her PC. It has all of the rich formatting. Nothing is lost. You get full fidelity. The beauty of this is she can send someone a link to this document, and they can view it right in the browser without having to download it or without having to worry if they have the latest version of Office on their PC. Karen doesn't have to worry about what browser anyone is using either, since this works in most popular browsers, including Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. SharePoint Online has the same ribbon interface that users of the latest version of Office are familiar with. As you can see, because Karen is in a document library, the ribbon adjusts and presents Karen with items specific to working on the document. It is contextual. Karen is planning to make some edits while she is on the plane later, so she is going to use SharePoint Workspace to make this library available offline as well. Now, she can work on the document even while she is not connected, and any changes she makes will be synchronized back up when she reconnects. While Karen is working on the proposal document, she wants to make sure the quantity that is being promised to the new distributor is available in the inventory. Access is used to manage important business information, including inventory. Karen used to have problems keeping a single version of the truth since people would update their own local copy of the database and get out of sync with the real inventory. With Office 365 and Access 2010, Karen can publish databases online so that information is accessible to others inside and outside the company. What you see here is a full access database which Karen can view and edit in the browser and syncs automatically with the version on her PC. It looks like there is enough to satisfy the order. So Karen will go ahead and put the right quantities into the proposal. Office 365 really shows its power when teams are collaborating on documents before a deadline. This is usually a painful process. Team members must either wait for the document to be passed their way or work in parallel and merge their separate versions at the end. Office 365 enables multiple people to work on a document at the same time without running into conflicts. It looks like Tomas is also working on the document right now. Karen is getting notified that Tomas has made changes to this section. If she has questions about the changes, she can quickly start an IM conversation with Tomas using Link to coordinate their work. Looks like Tomas has finished updating his section. 
Karen clicks Save, and she can see the table formatting change made by Tomas. See, Tomas's updates have appeared in the document. That's next-generation collaboration.